What never ceases to amaze me about frauditors, even when they're documented perverts, they still want to play the victim. Now, Travis Hines, you are the reason that you were arrested at gunpoint recently. Uh, next time when it's the middle of the night and you are a known, call it pervert, and you go reaching into bags, into that shit heap you call a car, yeah, you're going to get drawn down on. That's your own damn fault. And having said that, I'm going to say this. It's not the cop's job to clean up that shit heap you call a house, a, an apartment, a car, whatever. It's not their job. That's your job. So why don't you clean up that shit heap you call a vehicle? It's not theirs. So when I uh, got uh, released by the, the sheriff deputies of the Brown County uh, Sheriff's Office, they left me with a big mess in my car. I first noticed the uh, SD card was on the ground right next to my my car they they somehow got uh, one of my SD cards thrown out of the car I mean they were dropping things outside of my car very carelessly I mean you could hear the thuds and then you know if you work I, I used to work for UPS and why were you terminated again and I got in trouble for dropping packages. All right, that's that's a big deal. Yes, because when you worked for UPS, you were literally being paid to deliver those packages safely, you moron. If uh, you drop packages, dropping belongings, I mean, my stuff that they dropped on the ground it was not even in packages. It's just my, my stuff exposed to their careless handling as they're making their search. Here's my question. What kind of perverted shit did you have on those SD cards? But uh, they left things in uh, a big disarray. They told me I had to be out of here, be out of the Woodman's parking lots very quickly. And... I had to deal with this mess. Uh, everything was unzipped, all my bags and stuff. They were all unzipped. And over time now, it's been a couple of days, I had to have uh, been zipping them back up. Jesus, son, how many bags do you have in that car? It's taken you days to zip that shit up? You are pathetic. I mean, things are, are not where I left them. And I try to keep as little as possible in this car. Over time, I, I've been throwing things out that I don't use just to make more space for, for just, just general movement. But they, they, uh, they, they searched a, a minimalist's car. Uh, they searched a, uh, my, uh, my car, and in a, in a, that's that where I'm practicing minimalism, but I'm also maximizing survivability too for floods and fires. No, you practice minimalism because you're too lazy to get a job, and since you're a documented pervert, no one will give you a job, and you want everybody to just give to you. Which uh, recently was was a big problem south of here and out of Gamey County if you read the Facebook for the the emergency dispatch they they're posting about the flooding issues and and taking safe measures well my safe measure is being prepared in my car to just get out of that area if there if there's a flood you just move get away from the, the path of the flood get away from the source 
just uh, take higher ground. Um, but then that goes against what cops uh, are, are enforcing against, which is the camping. Exactly, because your camping is trespassing on private property. They got a problem with, with the appearance of, of somebody trying to be prepared for these floods that uh, the emergency department are warning us about. And that's, that's very frustrating, because then you, you, you question, how do you balance? I mean, are, do, do we have to be honestly put in a, uh, a situation where we have to worry about a proper balance on, on survival, on be, uh, emergency preparedness? But, uh, yeah, the cops uh, really went through everything. They turned my cameras. And, I mean, they, they, turned, they turned the cameras that were not 360 cameras. Well, the 360 camera they just simply put in a bag. Uh, he, uh, I, I believe Kil, Kits, I forget his name, Kits, Kitslar did turn the 360 camera. And then saw that he was still in frame on the other side because there's two there's lenses on both sides. The word dilly cat. That's spelled D I L L I G I M dilly cat, and it means do I look like I give a fuck? And again, dude, the cops, the property owners, they don't want some pervert camping out on their property that they have to be responsible for because you're too lazy to work and pay for your own shit. So then he reasoned that that's a camera that needs to be just plain covered up. I recorded on my GoPro Max, GoPro 10 inside the car uh, on my phone, but that's, that's kind of unusable footage it's not very good and it, it cut cut off after 20 minutes somehow he put and it was when he was fumbling with it in the bag I also had my GoPro Nexus, which is uh, GoPro 11 I had my best camera on which was the Insta360 X4 but uh, I just um, I set it down in in the dash and, and how about instead of buying all this camera equipment and electronics, you spent that money on this thing that we call rent. And you wouldn't have to be getting trespassed off of private property. See how that works? You work, you get paid, you take that money, you pay for a place to stay. How it works. Uh, between the dash and the steering wheel, and it, it really didn't get great footage. So I, I'm just kind of abandoning that uh, and just I'm just relying on three cameras the the one on the roof the one inside and then my necklace cam I had two others the phone cam and then the insta 360 were also running and then uh, at the end I, I recorded my drive out of here which then I pulled out the insta 3 the insta 360 um, oh geez Go 3S, which I, I could uh, use as uh, they have a magnet attachment I put on the back of the car. So when I was driving out, I, I was watching my, my tail end leaving, and they didn't give any chase. So uh, it's, it's really, I mean, you just see them, they're just sitting there parked. I think I took their, their sleeping spots or their hangout spots. I think they're more upset about me. Uh, parked in their hangout spots. Maybe they were just upset that there's a frauditing pervert that is loitering and trespassing in their town. That's probably, you know, cops tend not to like perverts such as yourself. And once I moved, then they probably took it for all I know. They say that's the, that's the area where cameras don't show. Well, that's perfect for them. They can take a little nap in that corner and and when they put the fear into people and to locals uh, to not approach them and and uh, just yeah not not approach them then they can the cops can get away with a little nap time on the night shift 
Sounds to me like they're busy having to run perverts out of their damn town. But these, these cops seemed a little jacked up. There was a, a certain energy about them, this, this uh, some kind of, of inner, inner motivation that they had where they were very awake and alert uh, coming at me, uh, not very relaxed. And, and uh, I don't know if it was because of uh, some kind of adrenaline rush from uh, either a chemical source or from something that previously happened before they encountered me. You mean they weren't real happy that a documented pervert is trespassing in their town and trying to, what, start your own soup kitchen bullshit? Yeah, sorry, Bubba. If they don't want you in your t their town, you don't need to be there. That's their town, not yours. But either way, they did take me by surprise, and I was uh, I was not so uh, responsive in the beginning. And I, I was sitting here trying to just... I, I forget that my Insta360 um, camera, you can't... It doesn't turn... The, the screen doesn't turn on when you touch it. And I thought it was. I was supposed to. For, my head wasn't all, all there. I, oh, well... Was that from a chemical source, or were you thinking about something perverted? It, the GoPro 360, it, the GoPro Max, it, uh, the screen will turn on when you touch it. But uh, I set it uh, the settings for the Insta360 not to turn on the screen even when I touch it. I have to hit the power button. So I wasn't even sure if that thing was on. And so because I, I wasn't sure, I wasn't handling it as good as I should have, and and I just set it down thinking maybe it was off, but it, it recorded the whole time. Uh, I just, I was so out of it. And then I turned to the phone cam, but uh, the phone cam just, I mean, he was on me about that, pulling his gun on me. And I had no idea. I heard I heard the, the, the clicking sound, the plastic, uh, like, release sound. It was sounded like a, he probably pulled his weapon, but I mean, I would, I would have had to turn to my left to look. And I normally just look look away uh, and just let the camera catch catch it. I was I was uh, more reliant on the camera catching that. Afterward, I didn't I didn't want to look. You didn't want to look. What the cop too old for you? Um, I mean, if I was gonna get executed, that was. That would have come as a surprise. I would have let it be a surprise more than anything, rather than looking straight at the the barrel, straight down the barrel. Just let it, let the, let let the shots be fired while I'm looking away. You know that that would show up on the the autopsy report that he he shot me in the back of my head. If uh, that would have been the case, if it turned out that way. Instead of me facing him, it would have been the back, my back turned to him pretty much when he was standing, you know, pretty much behind in, in that, you know, that advantageous uh, way that they're supposed, they're supposed to. They don't, they don't, they don't usually stand in front of you. They want to have your back to them. So I just, yeah, I reached in my bag and, and my, my inside camera shows that. I was just simply reaching into my bag and exactly in the pitch dark after you've already been told not to move you're a felon aren't you so he had every reason to believe you were going for a weapon that's on you not him but the fact of the matter is is he did have self-control why because you were still alive to make this shitty video that was after the, the request for ID um, so I mean I, I thought my movements were reasonable it's just he's used jacked up and he proved it a couple of times multiple times that he was just jacked up it wasn't a sense of fear because when I was sitting on the curb he yelled at me talking about talking over us and me talking over him so that moment was a clear indicator to me that he was just jacked up more than uh, uh, acting out of fear. Oh, well, thank you very much, doctor.
Let me ask you, you think maybe he was just angry that there's a documented pervert in his town trying to start shit with him for clickbait? What do you think about that? For his own life and his own safety, it was just a person very jacked up and overreacting. Or maybe he's seen one of your videos where you're threatening to unalive, hypothetically, an officer. And I mean, from what I've learned of his background now, he's, he's a former wrestler, Kitzlar. He, he was successful up to the championships, and, and then he, he uh, fell short multiple times. Uh, so I'm sure there's video of him wrestling. Um, somebody mentioned it on the, the TikTok, which I don't usually take TikTok views and comments very seriously, but I go through them because I because you have all this spare time, because you won't go get a job. Uh, this this video, this short clip of, of him pulling his ber Beretta. People are saying a lot, talking a lot about he him having a Beretta. They were they were uh, complimenting him on that because apparently that's a, a rarely used weapon on the police for police. So uh, yeah, or wait, no, it wasn't a Beretta. It was uh, it was something with musical. It's like I typed in that word and it was a musical, a musical uh, like staccato, not Beretta. He pulled out a staccato, and I I, I mean I, you look up staccato by itself and you'll see that it just says something about a musical instrument. A staccato is a top shelf firearm. 1911. It's used by over 1,600 agencies. It's a very, very, very top shelf firearm. But I guess a pervert like you wouldn't know anything about that. That's okay. So you got to look up as a weapon for police and uh, it's some rarely used weapon that people are complimenting him on. But uh, yeah, getting the background of this this, this uh, situation, I, I need more information. I mean, I have no criminal charges pressed against me, but... You mean currently? This act was so heinous that I want to look into it more, do some public records requests, find out that dog handler's name, find out the dog's name. See, and apparently there's a use of force report usually made for when a cop pulls their weapon. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the body cam. So I want to make those requests, and now it's between two police stations, the Sheriff's Department and the City of Green Bay Police, because they, the Sheriff's Department called the canine from the City Police. They have their own canine, but they're just, that canine's not working. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend more time here and, and do some more research on that. Let me translate what that means. I'm going to attempt to do a pro se lawsuit because I took a dump in my pants and I want some go away money because I'm too lazy to work. Is that what you mean by that, Mr. Hines? Anyway, guys, this this is what's fighting for our freedom. Bullshit. He's fighting for a damn go away check. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.